Hey chatters, I just wanted to walk you through a somewhat, hopefully simple N8N automation. If you haven't set up N8N, we have a video on how to get this up and running on a service called Railway. It's essentially your own private server. So you can check that out in the description to set this up. But assuming you've done that, here we are in N8N. And what I've created is hopefully a useful transcription summarizer and emailer automation. The idea here is that we want to be waiting for some sort of new file to show up in a specified folder. We get that file, we run it through AI, it updates that file, and it emails you. So let's go through each of these nodes one by one so we can see what's happening. And then obviously I'll share this schema that you can use. But the one thing you have to know is since we're using Google, you're going to have to go set up your Google credentials. I'm not going to be going over that in this video, but you can figure out how to do that on your own. So the first thing over here is our trigger node. You can see it's a Google Drive trigger. So if I open this up, pretty simple. You're going to set up your credentials. You can set the pull times. This is how often it's going to check to see if something has happened. You can set the trigger for this. We have changes involving a specific folder. And the idea here is if I've just created a meetings folder, you put this wherever you want. Slash, if you already get your transcripts from Google, it saves it to a particular folder. So you just want to set that up. And then we're watching for file created. So a new file coming in. And that's it. Pretty simple. We're just setting up a folder. We're waiting for documents to be shoved in there. And so now you just on your end have to figure out how am I getting the transcript into this folder? And then it'll do the rest. Our next note is this get document. So if I come into here, you're going to see again, we have our credentials, document, we're doing a get. And then you want to find the ID or the URL for this new document. And we do that by doing a test over here. So if you do fetch test event, this assumes you've gone into your Google Drive folder, you've created, create a little fake file that you're going to be using and you do test and you're going to get all this information over here. And we just want to come down to this ID. Now be careful, there are multiple IDs throughout here. So you want to be finding the actual ID of the document, which at least at this point, it's going to be around the kind ID and name. You look for ID and you drag it right into here. We already have it in there. But all this is doing now is just, it's finding the ID of this new document so that this isn't a static thing. You don't just put this in and then it, obviously the file's not going to be the same thing every single time. And so it's just going to look for this new document ID that has come in and use it as its reference. And then we have our AI agent. There's other nodes you can use. I'm just using this one because I want to use open router. So you're going to want to connect whatever AI that you're using. And if we come into here, I've just done something simple for now. I've just said, create a summary of this meeting, extracting the key points Then I have the transcript itself in these little XML tags. Don't worry about that. The main thing you want to think about is this content over here. Again, you want to look over here. We want to scroll down. It was up there, but I'm going to scroll down just to show you to find the actual content of the note. And you can see it's up here in the get doc and we just dragged it over to here and you can see that we have the actual transcript now that we've created from the document. Now I've already run this one, so it already created the output, but the idea is that it's now running this as a prompt. It's saying, okay, create a summary and here's the transcript. And then this is the summary that it came up with. Next up, we have to update the document that we have. So if I come into here, you'll see again, we've signed up with our credentials. We have the update and now you have to go find the ID again. So it could be in multiple places, but you should just go back down to the same one you found down here and drag it in. And then you have to set up your actions. We want a text because we're doing text. The action is insert. We're inserting it into the body of the document, not the header or footer. And I did add index. Now you can do a specific position. You could set it up. So there's always some sort of header, for example, that says summary or something. But I just want to put it at the top of the document. So I did at index one. And then we're taking that output we got from our little AI friend all the way up here, this little output. And then we dragged it into here. And you can see it's now going to put this at the top of the document. Now, last, just for fun, I figured, hey, I wanted to email this to me so that I know when I have it at the top of my mailbox. So I created a send message node. And I've just set this up with, again, my credentials. It's a message. We're sending it. 
So we're looking for the document owner here. So we have owner zero, that's me. I found my email address and I dragged it over here. I created my subject, which is just meeting notes for, and then I just found the date and time that this was created. And then I have a little text message that it's gonna send me, which is just the output from the agent, that summary, and then a link to the transcript itself. And you can see here, it, I ran it and it ran. So let's head over to my email. I can show you what it looks like. Here we are in my email. Now you'll see it was trying to do markdown formatting. So this didn't fly. So you might want to do some parsing or something in between to make it look sexier. But for now, you can see we have our subject line and then the notes and then a link to the note as expected. So that's our simple little automation to grab a transcript, summarize it, update a document and email it to ourselves. But there's tons of other nodes. So for example, there's a Google Tasks node. So I could just click on this, right, and do a create task, have another branch off of here maybe where the AI is now taking this document and it's looking for different to-dos and then assigning those to-dos to me directly in my Google if that's what I want to do. Or any other sort of, if you have ClickUp or Notion or whatever, you can have that be part of the automation too. So Chatters, that's it for this video. Again, let me just show you how you think about this. We have some sort of trigger in our repository of documents meetings folder where a new file comes in our transcript and that's going to set off the automation. We get that document. We run it through AI to summarize. We update the original document and then we email it to ourselves. So I hope that was helpful chatters and let me know how your automation goes.